In this video, we're going to explore how we can use Novation Components software as a management system for our circuit tracks hardware. Components is a librarian, management system, a custom MIDI templates editor, and also a synth editor for your circuit tracks. Components exists in both a standalone version and also an online version which you can use using a browser that supports Web MIDI, such as Google Chrome or Opera. To get hold of the standalone version, once you've registered your circuit tracks, simply go to the My Software section of your account at NovationMusic.com and you'll be able to download the standalone version directly from there. To go to the online version, simply go to components.novationmusic.com and that'll take you directly to the online version of Novation Components. When you open Novation Components, you'll notice that the software manages a lot of different Novation products, but at the bottom we now have a tab for Circuit Tracks. Just click on Circuit Tracks to enter into that section of Components. You'll now notice we have a number of changes from the original circuits layout. This includes a brand new library system on the left hand side of the screen. We also have a new option here labelled MIDI templates and this allows us to go in and create our own template controls for our circuit tracks MIDI sequences. The synth page has also undergone a huge redesign with a brand new look for the synthesizer controls to allow you to create your own patches. Let's take a look at the packs page in components. If I simply want to back up a pack held in my circuit tracks hardware, I can hit the get pack from circuit tracks button. I'll now be presented with all of the packs stored on the micro SD card inside my circuit tracks. I can then choose one from this list and it will then load into the components window. Alternatively, if I want to open a pack inside components that is already saved, I can just go to the left hand window and click on the pack I want to load in. In this pack page on components, it's really easy to manage the positions of your presets. Here I'm just exchanging the position of the different synth presets into different places within my circuit tracks pack. I can also do the same with the samples. And also if I want to exchange, for example, I'll take kick one here and place that where snare one was, it just simply exchanges the sample positions. You may also notice that we have a new expand button. And this allows me to access different aspects of different stored packs. For example, here I have some different samples and maybe I want to start to bring some of these samples into the pack I'm working on. I can just simply click and drag and bring them into the sample area. This gives it a really easy way to be able to create your own gig packs. So for example, I'll open up this pack here and in this pack I've got a whole load of samples but actually I'm going to change them over to these samples and I can just click and drag individual samples into the position I want them to be in or if I prefer I can grab a whole bank of samples and drag them directly into the window. It's the same behaviour for both the synth presets and the projects. So for example here I have an empty projects area but if I expand here to show the projects I can then drag them individually or grab the whole bank and just drag them all into the projects area. This is a really neat way of working and allows you to create your own bespoke packs from a collection of different packs that you have stored with Innovation Components. A new feature we'll find in the samples area is the ability to download individual samples to your computer's hard drive. We can simply choose the sample we want, then hit download sample in the bottom right, and it will then now allow me to save that sample onto my hard drive. When I've created a pack that I like and I want to send it to the hardware, I can hit send to circuit tracks. This now gives me the option between sending a full pack or sending the projects individually, the samples individually, or the patches individually. A new feature in circuit tracks, of course, are the two new MIDI sequences. 
alongside being powerful note sequencers, we can also access custom templates that we can create to control our external devices. We see here we have a MIDI templates option and once in this page, I can hit create MIDI template. I'm now presented with the eight macro knob positions and to change these, I just simply click on one of the macro knobs, choose the CC number that I want to send it to. I can choose whether it's a unipolar or a bipolar control. And once that's there, I can happily send that to circuit tracks. I'm now given eight positions that I can store this template into. I'll choose template position one. That has now been sent directly into my circuit tracks hardware. To access these custom templates on the hardware, when I'm focused on a MIDI track, I can then press the preset button and I now have access to my eight different custom templates from the switches and the top row of the pads. Let's take a look at the synth editor for circuit tracks. If we click on the synth button at the top of components and hit create patch, we'll be taken directly into an initialized patch for the synth editor. You can see now we've undergone a huge redesign for the synth editor. Whereas all the different components for the synth were in different pages on the previous version, they're now all held in one central page that gives us access to pretty much all of the controls you need to be able to get on with your sound design. We also have a page directly for effects and the modulation matrix, where we can see the huge amount of modulation controls we have available to us in circuit tracks. If I want to open up an existing preset for editing, I can select from the list within a pack by hitting the expand button. This will open up a list of all the presets available in that pack, and I can choose the preset I want by clicking to open it up into the synth editor for further tweaking. When I'm happy with that, and I want to send this individual sound to circuit tracks, I can hit send to circuit tracks. Once again, choose the pack that I want to load it into, choose the position I want to load it to, and we'll send that data directly into the hardware. You may notice that we only have one synth editor as opposed to an editor for synth one and an editor for synth two. This is because on circuit tracks, we can now use the hardware button to switch between the two different synth parts directly from the hardware itself. All in all, the new features and redesign of the circuit tracks component software open up a huge amount of possibilities and make it even easier for you to manage your hardware device.